Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Astonishing Studios. Welcome back to Brick Ultra. And today we have a new how to build a mini pocket sized candy machine. Now for this video, uh, it's pretty interesting because you can see how this machine works on my main channel. Now what happens here is that I'm doing a little series called Small Machine Summer. Pretty much every other week I will put up a small machine on my main channel and how that benefits you, a Brick Ultra subscriber. Well, in between that every other week when I put up a video, I will be putting up a video here on Brick Ultra's YouTube channel showing how to build each machine. Now each one's going to be pretty small and let's just hop into this machine's tutorial. First off, you're going to take a 6x8 base plate covered with the 4x4 smooth area I took for 2x2 tiles and there's going to be the coin bank. I'm just going to depict it instead of take it apart for you guys. So uh, you make or take a 4x4 base plate. I made mine. And then here you're going to take or make a 1x4 part. I took two 1x2s. And uh, you're going to put two 1x1s on the side. And in the center a 1x2 brick with a hole in the center. And then you're going to take a 1x4 smooth piece. And then in this remaining area you're just going to put more smooth pieces. And then it's going to go right here. Now one tip I would suggest using on this is that you want to separate the bricks a little bit. Such as almost pull them off and have them almost half on. So then what happens is when you put it in, it's going to be very tight in the machine. And the only way you'll be able to get it out is if you use the peg, which is the way you're going to get it out normally. Basically what you're going to do from this point is build three layers of bricks all around here. Sort of look like this. Except, you're probably wondering why I have these two red parts sticking out. And that's pretty much because it's a part of the little red design that I had on the machine. So what I did here simply, I just took a, you can sort of see it, a 2x2 two two, and just put half of it in. That goes in the second layer in the center of the machine. Yep, on the sides, not on the side. And you're going to put a 1x4 on top of each one. And then take smooth pieces and make sure they cover this area so it's a 4x2 spot covered with smooth pieces overall. After you're going to take two more 2x2 two two red pieces, place them right there, you can change the colors obviously, and I'm just going to place some lego bricks in some certain areas that will be designated shortly. Alright so those are the spots where you should put the lego bricks. Pretty simple. And on these little areas right here, these 1x2s, you're going to place some smooth pieces like that. See? And just a few more parts I'm going to add to this. You're going to take or make two 1x6s, two flat 1x6s, but not smooth. And you're going to place them like that. And then you're going to take two 1x1s, place them on the bottom. So you got something looking like that. And then you've got this piece. Make or take. Well, you have to make because they don't exist. A 4x3 plate. And you're going to take up 2x4 of that area with smooth pieces. So I've got that. And now we got to add them up. It's pretty important. So it looks like this. So we're going to bring our friend over. And we're going to... Place it right there. Now one more thing. We're going to take a 1x6, place two 1x1s that are flat but not smooth, so like the one third pieces. I took circular ones. And you're going to take two flat but not smooth 1x4 pieces, stack them on top of each other, place this in the center, so you have a 1x1 stud separation in between each. This is also important, and you place that right there. All right, so now we're gonna build the little tray slash dispenser. What I did, I took a two by four. In one of the center spots, I made a one by two flat part, flat and smooth, placed it there. And then you can take or make a one by three, I made it. And you're going to take a one by one smooth, and you're gonna place it on the part that's coming off of the two by four. Now from there, we're going to make this little piece quite simple. Basically, just take a 1x2, flat but not smooth. Yep. And you're going to take two small ramped pieces. And we're going to place this right 
there. So shortly afterwards, all you need to do is a few easier, few easy things. Take a two by two brick, two by two flat and smooth. You're going to place it back here, and you're going to do pretty much the same thing right here, but with a one by two. In my case, I just took three one by two flat pieces, and then took one of the flat and smooth pieces and put it there and then all you need to do really you're going to place that right there from here you're gonna put some bricks in some certain areas and now that you've got those bricks in those spots we're going to make this little piece quite simple you can already see what I've done flat one by one brick two flat one by four bricks both studded and you're going to take another one by one brick and you're going to place it right here. So it'll look like maybe a little Z, a really awful Z, but we're just going to place that right here. And that's pretty necessary to the machine because simply this will be able to dispense without moving back and forth. So it will stay in its spot. I know these steps are starting to sound repetitive. But you guys are just going to have to believe me. We're going to build another layer. What we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take two of these, two by three bricks, which I made, and then a flat one by two in the bottom. But we're going to place them here. So it's like that. And now I'm just going to do a little speed build of me putting the pieces in certain spots. Alright, so we're going to take a 1x4 piece with the three holes in the middle and on the hole all the way to the right we're going to take one of those pegs, blue peg, which has a studded tip. From there we're going to take a 1x1 brick, I took a circular brown piece, we're going to place it right over here. Then we're going to take, this is quite necessary, it has to be a 2x6 plate and we're going to place it on the bottom most hole to this pegged area. So we've got something like that. From here, we're going to take one of these ramps. I hope you guys don't moan when you find out that this isn't the most common ramp. Something like this. It's in a lot of LEGO sets though, so if you have a LEGO set, try to look through one. Maybe if you have an old X04 set, it'll probably be there. And you'll place it right there. And then we're going to take another ramp this 2x4 ramp and down the bottom we're going to place bricks in these designated areas it's going to be 1x2 and then one of these L shapes and then you can pretty much place this part anywhere this little stud it just needs to be something to come down so it'll fit snugly on the machine and then this will sit so that the ramps are going almost the same length. And uh, this isn't really focused to show how to do this. I'm going to try my best. We're going to take the machine. And when we have the machine, probably you're not going to turn it on its side. What we're going to do, we're going to place it on. And we're going to place it on right over here. So we're going to have it. Hopefully you can see this well enough. Yep. So basically, the ramps are like that. This is the front of the machine. Okay, so we're going to take two of these pieces. Well, four for each. Four 1x2 bricks. You're going to have two of these little towers. And one will go right here. The other one will go right here. We're going to place some Lego bricks in, once again, some certain areas. So, this is where we'll place the bricks. You just look, right there. This 2x6 area right here. 1x6, 1x2. And something you might want to place right by the coin slot is a 1x1 brick black piece and a one by one slope I have a clear one and you're going to place that right here 
All right, so we're gonna place some more bricks on the machine. And that wasn't too many bricks, right? Well, we're gonna add a few more parts. First of all, we're gonna finish off the red design or the different color design. Take, you're gonna have two of these. Take two one by two bricks and place them on top of a two by four brick on the same side. And uh, going to place one on each of the blank spots on the machine. So we got one right here, turn it around, one right here. All right, so we're wicked close to finishing our machine. What you're gonna do, take two one by threes and place a flat one by two at the bottom. This we need in the machine, we're placing it right here. See, we're placing it right there so that the jelly beans don't spill out and we can also place in our coin in the coin slot. Then we're going to take a little piece like this Two one by two brick with two holes in it. And then we're gonna take another one of those pegs with the studded end. And we're going to take another little one by one ramp with a one by one flat on the bottom. We're going to place it in the peg part. And then it's going to be positioned so that the end of the slope is pointing that way. So it's gonna look like that. It will be right there. Now we're gonna place some more bricks in some other designated areas. All right, so there we have another layer. So you can see what I did. One by eight. Just pretty much covering the whole border. And we're gonna make one final layer before we put on the top and load in our jelly beans. All right, so that's our last layer besides the top. So you just see we put it all around, except here we sort of have a two by four area. And just one by two. And you would load in your jelly beans like this. Make sure they're on their sides. They normally do hop in on their sides. I don't know, it's just the powers of physics. I think you can load Oh man, I don't know how many, I'm guessing six. To make the top, what we're gonna do, we're going to take or make another six by eight plate. See? And we're going to place smooth pieces on the border of it, being two studs thick. Then we're going to just pause the screen maybe. Then we're going to take a flat two by four piece. There we go. And cover that with smooth pieces. I chose a different color. My machine has a two color scheme. Two colors, obviously. And it looks like that. It's a nice thing, a little elevated. And you can simply place this on top of your machine. So a few more things before we officially sum up this video. When you put a coin in the machine, which is gonna be a penny, make sure to not just lightly push it, make sure to actually give a little bit of force when you're pushing it in because basically what's going to happen is that there's a ramp that pushes it sideways into the mechanism and if you don't push it with your full force it's gonna stop a little bit short and that's not gonna be good second of all when your coin goes into your machine it should go in sideways into the mechanism sideways as in vertical because I can't speak today so sometimes it goes in horizontally that is bad to fix this all you need to do take your machine turn it upside down shake it and put it back normally. If it doesn't come out and go back in properly, just try again. You don't need to open up the machine. It's really fantastic. Overall, make sure to subscribe to Brick Ultra for more fantastic LEGO videos and for more tutorials. And maybe check out Astonishing Studios in Small Machine Summer to see more mini machines that will be coming soon to the Brick Ultra channel.